All right, back again, Luke here, and uh, yeah, guess what, folks? I got tagged again. You're going to have to either fast forward, skip through this, or just not watch it at all. <laughs> I don't know. I think maybe this is the third time I've been tagged. Thanks to the real Agrabon. Gotta love that guy. Um, but yeah, so, uh, yeah, some things about me. Um, let me see here, some more stuff. Uh, first thing is, I'll probably tell you something that you already know, is... Um, I have uh, a son, and he's actually about seven months old, and he sometimes makes appearances in my videos uh, unwillingly and unknowingly some of the times. He just jumps in there with his voice and uh, just screams his, uh, his lungs out. But uh, yeah, so if you ever hear like a, a kid crying in the background, that's my son, just forgive me. It's, a, it's not a very big place. Um, and uh, sometimes he's probably going to be in the video. So I try my best to do it when he's not uh, awake, uh, when I'm, you know, alone or something. But sometimes I just can't do it. So that's one. Um, another one is actually, you know, a lot of people ask, why do you have so much stuff? And, you know, why do you have so many games and stuff? And beforehand, you know, in one of my other videos, I explained, you know, one half of the reason why. And that was because of the fact, you know, probably somewhere down the line um, I, I, I sell them to friends or I um, you know I used to used to have some one just in case it broke or like a backup but also a long time ago me and one of my friends actually were um, talking about uh, opening a possible like arcade uh, shop in Japan like a retro cafe type thing but um, taking a look at how much the cost of rent is and the startup fees and things like that, it was just, you know, too outrageous. So um, just totally forgot about the idea and, you know, i am kind of got all this stuff sitting around here. Um, it's not a bad thing, you know, I got a lot of stuff, but um, yeah, I would have really liked to have my own retro, retro shop. But um, now my house is my retro shop. <laughs> so, but uh, it's all good, you know. People come over here and they uh, they play um, play some games, do some drinking. Um, oh, I guess that's another one. Um, I guess another fact about me is uh, I like drinking a lot, and uh, probably can't tell very much. But sometimes in my videos, you'll notice that like, oh, Luke, there's a beer can on the floor. Or, like, wow, there's beer cans on the desk, you know. And, yeah, I like drinking a lot, and uh, sometimes I do stupid stuff like make a video. I've only done one really kind of drunken video here, but um, if you ever want to see what that's like, you can check out my uh, Rob Comes Out of the Box video, which is uh, pretty stupid. I'm sure a lot of you guys have already seen it before, but it's pretty bad. Um, so yeah, um, let me see, what else can I think of? I don't know if that's four, three or four. Um, I'm into, uh, RC cars, like, uh, I'm into the electric RC cars, I'm into the, uh, the nitro RC cars. I like to collect the, uh, the really old RC cars as well, the really, you know, classic ones. So, for example, um, this is one that I, I kind of brought back to life, uh, and this is really old, you can probably see the dust on it. This is a, uh, Nitro Brute, it's made by Kyosho. There's hardly anything on this thing on the net. You can, you probably really won't find a lot of information on the Nitro Brute, but uh, it's Kyosho's Nitro Brute. Some people have this thing, some people have never seen this thing before, but um, it's a really primitive, early, uh, early kind of um, uh, Nitro truck that actually runs, you know, on just a small little uh, Nitro engine here in the back. But on top of that, it's got uh, plastic uh, drive shafts. It's really, really fragile. Um, I've taken this thing out a few times. When I bought it, uh, I bought it off the net. It was really, really rusty. And um, yeah, I, I ripped the engine apart and redid that. But uh, yeah, Kyosho Nitro Brute, very dusty one. Um, also have some other like eight scale ones, but uh, another one, this is a, uh, Another dusty one, but this is uh, a Mugen, uh, Mugen MTX2 uh, Nitro car, and this one too is a little bit of a classic here. I uh, I really like this. You can see a lot of the the Mugen. You can see the MTX3. You can see the MTX4, but uh, MTX2 you don't see too much of. So this is one of my uh, my little retro cars that I got going on here. I like taking those things out and um, yeah, playing around with those. 
And uh, I guess the last fact about me is, um, if you haven't noticed by any of my videos so far, I love junk. Junk makes me so happy, you have no clue. Like, if somebody were to say, hey Luke, do you want this like broken, broken video game system or this like busted up controller? I'd be like, hell yeah, and I would be so ecstatic. I would be like, wow, that's great, thank you so much, right? But if somebody gives me like, you know, a brand new controller or something, something that looks like really nice, I'd be like, oh wow, you know, thanks, thanks a lot. So I really get excited over the broken stuff because I love taking the stuff apart. I love seeing how something can go from like abused and used to like new and working or something like that, you know. Uh, a good example of that is the, um, the uh, dumpster Dreamcast that I got, you know. I mean, hell, it's sitting right here. You can take a look at that for yourself. It's sitting there. It's on. It's up there. I had it paused because I was playing it, you know. I, I love stuff like that. You know, it, it, it's exciting, it's great, it's broken, um, but then you get it working, you're like, yeah, you know, self-satisfaction, self-reward, so I love that stuff. But um, I guess that's about five facts about me. I um, really don't think there's anything else I can tell you in this video here. But uh, five people to, uh, to tag. Um, a guy who's actually been uh, commenting on my stuff for a long, long time, you know, even around the time when I first started. Uh, Shorty 1K, and I don't know if he's got uh, his video camera working or if he's got uh, any way of putting up a vid, but uh, hopefully he, he can put one up. Um, another guy who's living in Japan here, um, it's uh, Japan or J A P. J A C. So it looks like the spelling looks like Jap Jack, but um, so it's actually J A P for Japan and then J A C. Um, yeah, dude, if you get a chance, uh, try and slap up a video. He's got some cool stuff. He has like a, you know, he's got a Capcom um, Capcom board that you guys should go and check out. Um, it's pretty cool looking. It's pretty rare. Um, so hopefully he'll put up a video. Uh, Medaka. 350 or 350 uh, he's got another MBS cab just like my MBS cab here and uh, he's got a six slot in it just like I've got here and he does some some pretty cool stuff too he got his uh, his six slot up and working and uh, yeah everything seems to be uh, working fine so he does some repair videos some cleaning videos too very cool along the same lines as him another great guy is uh, Supreme Judge um, the reason why I chose uh, Supreme Judge is because he's got a lot of uh, different uh, arcade knowledge as well. He knows his Neo Geo stuff left and right. So I'm kind of curious about uh, what he might have to say, like five facts about him. That would be cool. And the last guy here, really kind of quirky guy. He's pretty funny and uh, nice guy. Super Dan 88 um, If you get a chance, that'd be cool to put up a five facts video about yourself as well. But uh, I guess that's all for me for right now. And um, yeah, like always, I'll put up another video here soon. So thanks for watching.